And there is a direct line here, if he should choose to play it. The, the only thing is, he'll be playing this brown with pace if he just plays a plain ball pot to come into the cluster. And the black and the brown is missable. Well, he'd be frustrated with that. And once again, putting a, an implement on the end of the queue does change, as I said earlier, the characteristics of the queue. And perhaps he's not fully used to practicing as much as he would be with his old queue with the extensions on. So nothing Steve Maguire can do except try and play a good safety shot. And this is a bit risky, but probably will get, pay some dividends. Great shot. Mark Hair, Jizia Wen Wen, the Bai Bai Chou, Tang Dao, the Ka Fei Chou, Hou Fang. We're going to look at how the corner is handled. The corner pocket may not have been on, but I can't have asked for anything better than that. And, and actually has presented Ronnie O'Sullivan with a bit of a headache here. Yeah, I could draw a line and say come off the left-hand side cushions, that little cluster below the, the pink, but he can't play that because he'd leave a red to the left corner. There's the red near the right-hand side cushion. He could come off the ball cushion, maybe rest on that, but he could possibly knock it on. But as we see so many times with this misrule now, you need to hit the red soon because you can give lots of pots or, uh, points away. Well, that's about oh, as far I mean, out as Stephen Maguire for. Ronnie O'Sullivan probably has ever been for an escape from a snooker. But what it guaranteed was no damage done. But he's he's obviously got to find some more of a different line there. And he was he perhaps played it a bit too wide. He wants to play it more shallow off the side cushion. But even this is risky, John. Just wondering if he plays it a bit more pace, whether he can get to that. Red near the right hand side cushion. Well, he's going to hit the reds this time. Oh, this looks magnificent. Oh, he's just rolling off. Oh, and the miss. Miles Steve out. Maguire foot. Well, Steve Maguire looking at possibly clipping off the red and putting him back, but I don't see what the point is really. <laughs> yes, there was no way in the world he wasn't going to have the balls put back. Well, that was nearly the perfect shot. This is very difficult, Steve. and uh, he's obviously found the line, but there's uh, no guarantee he's going to hit it the same line this time. That's about as good as you can get, I think. Oh, is he not shy of pace? Oh, how cruel is it? Oh, oh I'm going to miss Stephen Maguire four. Does the red pot in the middle pocket? No, so it's back again. Stephen Maguire getting back in this frame without really getting out of his chair. Are there any other routes he could choose, John? Off the top cushion for the red on the side is dangerous. It pushes it towards the corner. He's going to keep on playing this shot, isn't he, until he gets it right, I think. I think so, and uh, well, the last twice, the last time, just a little bit Shorter pace, the time before just slid by it. And of course, the thing is, the referees now, unless you hit it, they're going to keep calling miss. He's going to hit them this time, surely. No, he's come off that. Foul and a miss. Steve Maguire for. The problem yep. with that was by hitting it harder, which he obviously did, he had more side spin on, and the side spin continued on the second and third cushions, or certainly the second cushion, the side spin cause the cue ball to go wider so now perhaps a choice a different choice oh this is tough anything could happen with this one trying to judge the escape off the side cushion with only about two inches of play before it hits it yeah if he's looking to the red on the right hand side of the table he's got to avoid a contact with the blue A 
That's brilliant. That's superb. Oh. <laughs> well, what a touch. It's a shot to nothing for Steve Maguire. Yes, probably that's One. why Ronnie had a few other, other reds he was trying to escape from. Because he knew he was leaving that red. It was a good pot, that from Stephen. He was hampered. Excellent pot. Really would have been unlucky to have left it in the jaws. The brown looks like it pots, but it's a lot thinner than it looks on our TV screens. A lot, lot thinner, and the cue ball is going to be doing some mileage around the table, or backwards and forwards across the table. Somehow, he's got to try and retain control of it. Not too sure how he can do that. First priority, of course, is to miss the middle pockets. Well, he couldn't, he didn't feel as though he could pot it. Well, I've got to say there, he was a little unlucky. That was a terrific pot on the red to not be able to pot the brown. Amazing. Unfortunate. Amazing, John. It, it looked potable. It obviously, well, I, it would have been strange for him to turn it down, wouldn't it, if he couldn't have potted it? He'd be very disappointed with the positional side of the safety. Oh, yes, he missed an opportunity to snooker Ronnie again, and we knew what a telling snooker it was. Last time he got behind the brown, so he missed a the trick there. Nice little nudge off the yellow for Ronnie to leave that cue ball near the ball cushion. Not that I'm trying to direct the show in any way, shape or form, but it would be nice if Hawkeye could show us that brown from Stephen Maguire's situation at some stage. We can have a look, John, and see if we like the shot ourselves bit thick on that. Yeah, poor safety, and I think he's left a red on here for Ronnie. Maybe a choice of two reds. Playing the thinnish one, but he knows if he pots it, he should be on the bought colour. Mark威尔防守出现失误。现在我们来欣赏下胡老师缺钱模式下的进攻。对于Mark威尔这名球员,可能一些新球迷不太认识。其实在特洛姆普还未崛起之前他是毒奶的功夫也不容小事and now in pot in the black, a little cannon into that cluster of four just below the pink. He'll still be on the red to the left corner. If these break right, he's already got a 12-point lead. The black will put him 19 in front. Just these reds in the middle of the table would be sufficient. Nudged them open. It's a frame-winning opportunity now. Yellow. They could have opened nicer. The fact that the two reds have stuck together above the pink probably means they need another nudge. Twelve. Yeah, but with that pink being close to the reds, if he could play on the pink, he could pop the pink and bring those two reds into play. Twenty-seven points now the lead, 19. and now he's looking to see if he could stun this red and just leave a Little three-quarter ball pot on the pink into the right middle. Twenty. Well, decided to play for the black, so 
you'd think he'd play for the red that's up near the blue spot. Lovely lazy delivery there. That's a long pull back of the queue. Donny O'Sullivan not shy in pulling the queue back a, a long distance. A lot of players concentrate on a shorter pull back to uh, retain control, but Ronnie O'Sullivan so nice and lazy at the back and going through the ball. Well, is he the right angle for this pink, John? I think so. He couldn't get it off the last red he potted, but he's got it here. If these reds break nicely. And they have, they broke perfectly. Lovely control. You wouldn't expect him to make a mistake now. 34. These two reds, two colours would put him well past the winning line. 35. Well, and how costly was that loose safety shot from Stephen Maguire? I've, I've 42. How do you get punished sometimes in this game? It's tough at the top. 43. Well, Mr. Cannon. This is very unfortunate. No one caught the red ball. But it's okay. As long as we've already started the blue mode, will this kind of ball still be in the future? I don't know. Is this a possibility of a plant to the right corner here? Yeah, it could go screaming down the cushion. This. Oh, slowly down the cushion. That's what I meant. Fifty-one.下面再简单介绍一下奥沙利文本场为什么是缺钱模式全场比赛奥沙利文打出单杆 Well, he's behind the brown. When he was behind the brown earlier on, it looked as though it was going to be costly. He's playing the brown. 好了，本期视频就到这里。我是看台球的冯冯，各位小伙伴记得点赞关注哦。